With the enemy marching on our cities, the All-Father looked to the advice of his war council. How best should our warriors dig in and weather the coming attack? Before they could decide, Henry the Red burst in, appearing to have recovered from his wounds overnight. Does the wolf cower behind high walls, or does he stalk the shadows of the wilderness? Just then, thunder cracked in the distance, and all knew it would not be long before one of Ugin's violent lightning storms would comb the surface. Give me my hellhounds, along with as many warriors that can be spared, and under the cover of Vodinson's veil, I will set an ambush for these would-be invaders. The Allfather agreed with the trusted words of the legendary Varga commander, and as the storms rolled in, our warriors abandoned their electrical equipment and set themselves to digging concealed positions. It would not be long until the enemy was upon them, marching unwittingly into the jaws of the wolf. What up, everybody? I'm Kevin. And I'm Sergey, and, and we are the Tabletop Warlords. And once again, we find ourselves playing a game of Beyond the Gates of Antares. In today's episode, we continue on with the second scenario in the Crow Campaign. Your votes have come in and you have overwhelmingly chosen to be bloodthirsty Varger warriors. We are going on the offense. That's right. Henry the Red is choosing to sally forth his forces in an attempt to ambush the oncoming C3. How could the C3 ever escape the jaws of the Voof? That's, that's the name of the scenario. If you have no idea what we're talking about, stop now and check out the first episode in the campaign. And if you would like to know how the units thus far are working, you need to check out its primer and the primer to this episode. There's a lot of tags floating around I don't know today. if we can put them all up there, but if they're anywhere, they're gonna be there. And here we have our epic battlefield for today. This is a very narrative scenario and the setup is looking pretty sweet. Now, it is a bit complicated, so I'm gonna point out all the different deployments. Uh, this being an ambush, the Ostmen have been deployed in reinforced position in these little readouts on either side of the road. Now, uh, let's see here. The medic team well, is underneath this camo. I think you can kind of see him from behind. Uh, that is a, a separate team for Sergey, and it's gonna be backing up a Varger squad with a light machine gun, a Varger squad with an RPG, and a weapon squad, which is basically just Varger warriors, except two with RPGs. So that's gonna be overlooking. And on the opposite side, we have the sniper team first on the field today, as well as Henry and his hellhounds right here in this position, as well as one more squad also armed with a light machine gun. Now, uh, they might be blending in pretty well because the camo netting, uh, admittedly, <laughs> looks pretty sweet. I'm gonna toot my own horn. Um, we got uh, two Grungnir assault vehicles hidden on either side, ready to spring the trap. Now the Concord are gonna consist of a light support drone leading the way. Three strike squads, one in the front, two in the back. In the middle, uh, the soft, juicy targets for the uh, Osman are going to be these two weapon team squads. And then we have a T7 transport. I can't remember what the ac uh, actual like indicator letter is, but this is the basic one that has not been upgraded with machine intelligence. And on turn two of the scenario, the Concord will receive an interceptor bike squad, no upgrades. And this just represents uh, some kind of outside force that's been alerted of the attack. Those are going to be arriving on either short end of the table and the choice is basically up to me. Now, as far as the scenario is concerned, um, or oh, I'm sorry, real quick for the battlefield, the readouts are going to provide plus two to Sergei's res and offer nothing in the way of obscuration uh, to or from his positions. And then everything else is basically light woods that might not come into play. And then Sergei, what do you think? Should we use the pan-human roads? Oh yeah, for sure, always. Always roads. Always roads. Okay, so the roads are going to work. Um, now, as far as the scenario, like I said, the jaws of the wolf. Um, Sergey is going to get victory points for taking out the more specialized Concord units. That is a single victory point for the combat light support drone. 
two victory points uh, for any uh, weapon support team he takes out, and then three victory points if he manages to destroy the transport. Uh, the strike squads, not worth a thing. Uh, on the opposite end, the Concord have a much easier mission. Uh, they get a victory point for any squad that is taken out of the Ostman, and they get two victory points if they take out either of the, or I'm sorry, two points per if they take out the vehicles. So Sergei's going to have to attack and then GTFO. And in that regard, he is able to exit off of either long end of the table. And that can, he can pretty much do that whenever. So if he has someone that's injured, you might see them running, but they better run because the moment these guys are able to attack back, they will. Now to help in that inevitable attack back, Sergey is actually starting this scenario off by setting off explosives that have been hidden along the road. Basically, Henry is tenacious and has taken a bunch of unexploded ordnance that they no longer have artillery to shoot and has uh, weaponized it. So that is going to basically be a stronger version of the Sonic attack in the main rulebook in which there's going to be a lot more strike value threes being uh, uh, thrown about. So let's get the dice in the bag and see how this insane scenario is going to play out. They have activated my trap card. First unit. It's going to be this, uh, well, not weapons team, but weapons team adjacent thing. <laughs> Sorry, these horrible rats. Ah, come on. There you go. Eight, nothing. Nothing happens. Six. Six. That's one, one pin, pin and yeah. a strike value three. That's nothing happens. That's. I think one pin. Uh, one pin. That is, uh, D three pins Ooh. and D three hits. That oh, is catastrophic <laughs> and nothing. No, uh, one, one hit. hit. And it goes okay, down. that's that's a pretty good. So let's get the uh, resolution here. One hit, strike value three on the leader. He is. Uh, it's an overhead, so you're fine. Yes, because my res is up to eight against mm -hmm. this. So nothing happens to the transport. One hit to the first weapons team. Uh, they're they're good. good. They don't. I don't they don't have a leader. leader. They, they might, but now yeah. it's D six hits on this. Team. No, no, D three. So you can roll a D six still to generate it. Okay. Uh, so five. five so that's hits. uh, yeah, three hits. Uh, one guy's fine. The other guy is dead, dead. and the third guy is dead. dead. Oh, oh, two guys killed. So they need to take a command test. Uh, well, on their extra D3 pins. So they have taken uh, two pins. And they're fine on their command test. So one guy is <laughs> right. holding and on. Three pins? Two pins. There's just D3 pins, not D3 plus one. Oh, okay. And then this uh, is, the, is the most brutal one. Uh, so it'll be four, four hits. hits and six pins. No. I'm wrong, it's it's D3 pins, so it's still three yeah, pins still and four pins. hits. So that's a hit on everybody except for the Lance. Uh, I'm gonna actually just move this mountain so I can roll in this little cup Ooh. here. And wow, really, really good. Um, except for that guy. Who's uh, fine? I'm actually fine <laughs> now, wow, oh my God. Wow. But they do go down still. Yes, uh, and then we have one more hit to contend with on this leader who is dead and fine. And fine. So these guys go down, and we almost forgot this squad actually goes down as well. So Kevin is a little bit at an ordered dice disadvantage, but he's still a vastly superior force, so we're gonna see how this goes. The dastardly Ostman surprise attack has really set the Concord off on a bad start, with only six order dice in the bag and the Ostman having 11. I think they're gonna have order dice supremacy in this turn faux show. First day of the battle! Ah! <laughs> Concord! Feel what? my wrath! For my first act, I will try to shrug off this single pin and then charge heroically into this unit of Ostman with a rocket launcher. I don't want that thing firing into my T7. So first, I must pass a leadership of seven or lower. Oh, oh my god! Ah! The explosions have obviously discombobulated my forces. Ostman! As lightning flashes in the night, so are revealed the fangs of the wolf. I am charging <laughs> this this poor downed guy. 
Just the um, single guy? Just the single, well, I'm terrified he's down and I'm not that accurate. Like I'm terrified I'm just gonna whiff all my shots right over his head. So I am. <laughs> I need these points. I mean, the Hyperlin armor is not as good as going close. It's that, that, that. <laughs> Okay, for this combat, I am not without my own teeth. My single C3 crew member does have a plasma pistol. I do have two pins though, so I'm only gonna hit on threes. And I have ballistic rifles, which are rapid fire too. Uh, strike value zero, uh, so I'm hitting on fours because they're rapid fire, but I do get to shoot first because he's down. And because I'm down, you gotta re-roll your hits. Oh, Sergey also forgot that this in particular Varger squad is upgraded with the light machine gun, which is considered a support weapon. So he will have three shots with that soldier hitting on threes, strike value one. 13 shots, uh, Holy ooh, of which I missed quite a few of, but I also got a lot of, I got a lot of lucky shots, dang. Now you only can keep one. So this lucky right here, and then everything else must be rerolled. Rerolls. Uh, wow, still pretty good. So that's three shots you must contend with. Your armor is uh, six because it's strike value zero and your armor is a six. Ooh. And he's dead. Yep, I was not able to resist. So I do not get to shoot back because I was down. So that's a, just a straight win for Sergey. And with the destruction of that support team, that means there's going to be one less X launcher in a future conflict awarding the Ostman two victory points. Now I do get to consolidate, and as you can see, I'm starting on the road, and I'm also going to end on the Panhuman road, so I'll get one inch added to my movement. And I'm just gonna sprint right on through. Well, run, or, uh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, neither uh, of those things. I will, You're just doing a normal I'm going run, to, or I'm going advance. to amble, yes. amble calmly. <laughs> I can only imagine that after they destroyed that unit, they're like leaving by like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Austin. I'm going to attempt a firing order with my ghillie suited vehicle over yeah, here. You look so cool. Uh, I, I will say, those were a very cool touch. Um, into this unit here, I have three shots. Uh, it's rapid fire, so I'm down to fives. And I scored one lucky hit, which I'm, I'm fine with. Doesn't really matter, I think. I'll take it on a leader if they exist. Uh, we haven't checked. I don't think they have a leader. And he's dead. Yeah, it's dead as all get out. Ah, they do actually have a leader, and I forgot. So he's, no, he's even he's, more he's dead. extra dead. So I'm gonna see what's this guy. Bah! He's dead. Ostman again. My gun gear is going to plug some shots into this weapon drone. Mm -hmm. uh, I really want to move Honoré out of here, but there's two plasma light uh, supports on the field, and he is uh, allergic to plasma. So say, I'll turn you to Swiss cheese. Yeah. Uh -oh. So I'm gonna try to lessen his teeth somewhat. That's one hit. Oh, we forgot uh, the limited ammo on those, oh, yeah, those yeah, yeah, warriors. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's roll that now. Limited ammo. They're, They're fine, fine, but you have to do a separate limited ammo for the, the light machine. Oh, okay. Which is also, no, you're Super good. Super cocked. Okay. It is, uh, I think it's limited ammo seven, so you got it perfect. Yeah, oh, it was cocked. Oh, okay. Um, well, you're good now with a one. Yep. Going back over here. Got this one uh, hitting your uh, So your strike value three. Eight. Eight, so roll that for me. I got five and low. Oh, seven. Roll okay. again. Seven. Oh, I think I, it's blown up. No, I think it's. I think it's seven. It's not. It might be great. different now. That's right. It's not the same chart. Seven. Whoa. D three pins. Oh, extra pins. D three extra pins. Oh, so it's, it goes down. Four. It could be oh. four. So I'll roll it for you, Sergey. One. So it's two pins. Eh, I'll take it. And that drone has to go down, which is abysmally terrible. So the whole front of the convoy has been lurched to a halt. Concord! I'm going to attempt. Hopefully this unit's not as scared. I'm going to try to do another run order, uh, another sprint. Or, uh, yeah, I'll probably sprint into these guys that are on the road. And since I'm starting on the road, ending on the road, I'm going to definitely get to them. So I got to roll a seven or lower. I got a one. My courage through the roof, and I will be charging. So that means that I have, I'm gonna be firing single shots with all of my guys, including the Lance. Or wait, no, what am I talking about? You have four armor? I'm definitely shooting rapid fire. <laughs> Two yeah. shots apiece, hitting on fours, strike value zero. Uh, when you return, you'll also have a whole bunch of shots, 13 again. You're gonna also be hitting on threes and fours respectively, but you are gonna have to reroll any hits, cause I'm sprinting. Don't forget that sprint check. Oh, you're right, you're right. Whoop. 
cocked, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is... Ah! <laughs> okay, you, I you get don't a pass, yes, ha ha! <laughs> the Varga Warrior, 13 shots, once again, doing not so hot. Um, Did you get one Actually, one? no, it's, it's pretty hot. It's pretty no, hot. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> Because only fours are lower hit. Yeah, so I got okay. this many. So, One lucky, I don't have to reroll that. I do have to reroll these. Uh, so oh, that'll be... Three hits. Oh, the four hits, yeah. So three hits, that's pretty good. So three hits. I have res six. Ah! Oh, so he was able to actually kill one Romo guy. Now before that... Poor wayward soldier dies, he still gets to shoot. So I get 10, hitting on threes now because of that damn pen. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Yeah, that really ruined everything. Uh, so, one hit, one hit. One hit, it's a lucky. I'm gonna put it on your leader who has a res of four. Dead? Oh, Whoa. dead. So I get a pin and uh, my leader dies, which does mean my leadership is now uh, down six. to six. Although I might be within Henry is radius, I'm not sure. And I lose my leader, but fortunately, just the, the heel of this guy is within Henry's range. Um, and so Henry is, is hounding them from the back lines. And because these warriors are so low tech, I need to roll limited ammo, and I'm good. So moving into close combat, I am going to be using uh, plasma grenades, which are strike value one, with all of my regular troopers plus the Lancer. And then my leader is going to be using the X sling as a hand to hand weapon, causing a D3 strike value zero hits. Oh, I just remembered I have a spotter drone. One of those misses from before could be re rolled. And I missed, so never mind. Okay, <laughs> cool. Just, you know, for accuracy's sake. I learned my lesson about the grenades in hand to hand combat the last time we did a battle, so I'm going to just use my Varger, my Varger, Wolfen, Wolfen. <laughs> Martial arts. It's I don't called know. throwing bows. <laughs> throwing, throwing bows. Throwing bows. Um, so real metalheads. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to be hitting on fives. Uh, strike value zero. Concord hitting on five. Oof. So every all my regular guys hit. One is a lucky. So I am going to put that on the uh, machine, gun. machine gun guy. So machine gun guy is right here. All of your guys save on threes. <laughs> None of them do so. So that would be three pins for me. And we all saw this coming. We all saw how I fared in close combat last round. And I get five strikes back. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah, lucky too. Times. Yeah, uh, the lucky, I mean. You can stack it on someone. No, let's put it on the lands. Do you want to stack? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I will take one on a leader. You'll put one on the lance. And I'll have one on a regular guy. Saving on sixes. Oh! Barger! Wow, so they killed two people. So I got two extra pins, Surya so has three extra pins. I think are we tied right now? I was reduced to half casualty here. Uh, I do need to take a break test, but I have last line of defense, but it's just not a nine and I'm good. So we both have exactly four pins. It's even, and as such, we just do a follow on combat. Once again, hitting on five. Woo, so the normal grenade misses, but I did get a lucky on my X-Sling, which causes three hits. And that doesn't really matter. It just means one of your guys takes two strike value zeros and one of your guys takes one strike value zero. Dead, just barely, but dead. Wait, you rolled a four and a three? Yeah. Oh, no, actually he's good. good. Yeah, the other one's dead. Now I'm striking back. And I hit both times. I could potentially win this, but I heavily doubt it. I'm good on both accounts. Yep. So, so you I have get one, one person hit. left. All right, I do have last line of defense, which is pretty sweet, which means I uh, just have leadership nine here and I'm good. So we just break away. Now that the combat is over, I only have two guys left. So I must test and I'm fine to continue on the fight. Okay, well that sucks, because I now have a squad of two dudes with four pins, and Sergei is able to get away with one guy that uh, has five pins. But hey, they, they know they're the last line of defense. They ain't giving up any ground. This poor fellow, which is now encircled with pins, uh, as I move six inches down the road, uh, it's, I mean, it's the best I can do to try yeah, to live. I'm just trying to get away. For my consolidation, I'm just gonna follow him. 
just gonna follow him down the road. All right. That's spooky business for me. Ah, again with you. Arr! This young gear is going to fire into this unit before it becomes a nuisance. I really don't want to get X launchered. And I already have two pins and one casualty, so these guys are gonna hug the dirt and go down. That's entirely fair. Makes sense, right? Yeah. That'll be three shots hitting on fives. Whoa, oh, whoa, wow. what a hey. terrible round of shooting. Uh, well, hey, I, I forced you down. <laughs> now roll to see if it hits Henry that is in direct line of sight, right? Is no, 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 <laughs> this isn't D&D. Horseman. I am going to use my sniper for the first time. And the beauty of the sniper is they convert their shots to luckies. So uh, it doesn't really matter that he's down. So I'm gonna try to stack another pin on this unit. Uh, I am at fives up to sixes for the fire order, up to sevens because the sniper rifle gives him plus one accuracy. And I hit and cause another pin. And Indeed. I will put the lucky on the lance. Sixes brought down to fours. Oh. oh! So, the lance gets plinkoed by a sniper rifle round. We oui, they The Concord! Mm. It's time to... God, I gotta kill somebody. So, <laughs> my T7 is going to utilize its extra mobility on the road by switching positions to body block That's this squad smart, yeah. from this vehicle. And then I'm going to use my... Battlefield, the best batter. Go like that. It's gonna be right here. Just right there. Okay. Yeah, it's cl close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, all right. And now I'm going to fire its plasma light support, which is accuracy five, brought down to fours because of rapid fire into this front squad here with the machine gun. Which I will say, kudos to your camouflage. You could not see them on camera from back there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will go down. Ooh. Like I said, fours to hit. Sick, I got one hit. I have to re-roll that with a, yep, no, so that's not good. And then I gotta re-roll that because he's down. Oh my God, yes. Lost moon. Oh, Concord, my last dice. For my last order dice this turn, I will have the T7 do a firing order into the uh, unit that hasn't been shot at with the rocket launcher. And I will, not to be a coward, but definitely to be a coward, uh, run away. I'm gonna attempt to do a run to cover. I have initiative six. Kevin, would you mind rolling that for me while I hold the camera? Whoop. Nine! Oh, oh, so I so get bad. a pin and I'm not down. That's not good. Okay, like I said, that means I hit on fives now and I get one reroll. So one hit, two hits. Oh, okay. So That's two good. hits. You are at strike, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you are at res three because you're at four plus two down to three. Uh, you do have a leader. I'm gonna take it on, um, uh, both on non leaders. Okay. Oof, Ugh, they're both, both are dead. dead. I have the claw of the wolf filled with order dice oh. and bad balance. Uh, I have four orders here and this whole scenario is very much a knife's edge. He can just cut through me like a hot knife through butter, so. Ugh. This unit is going to perform a firing order into this uh, transport. I can shoot over the battlefield because I'm at uh, high ground and I'm hitting on sixes. Sixes? Two, Two hits. hits. Wow, okay. My transport uh, now is a pin, which is terrible because I have command seven. Uh, my res is 11, brought down to eight, so I only fail on a nine or a 10, so I'm good. Nearly forgot I have a medic, so this team would have gotten to reroll oh, yeah. one of those res tests. No, nope, they're dead That's anyway. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good to know though. This cannon is going to fire into Kevin's vehicle. No batter field, which is glorious for me. Uh, and I'm hitting on sixes, no fives, because I'm rapid fire. And I get one hit. So that's the strike value three into the side of your armor there. Transferring camera. Once again, I only fail on nine or 10. So I'm good, but I do get a second pin, which sucks. There's blood in the water. This unit is fairly likely to get up. So Henry is going to perform a firing order. Now there's a lot of different stuff going on in this unit. Uh, my regular guys are accuracy six, but they're shooting rapid fire. So they'll be uh, hitting on sixes once again, cause it's up and down. Henry is also up and down because he has an inaccurate hand cannon, which is a mega pistol at strike value three. And then this poor guy in the back only has accuracy four, uh, but he goes up to five and then is pushed back down to four because it's a rapid fire ballistic pistol at strike value zero. 13 shots. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Unfortunately, Henry misses. That was my, I was excited for that one. But the medic 
Uh, hits with both of his. He's pissed. <laughs> and it gets a lucky. Um, and then the rest of these all hit. Yeah, but he, I do need to reroll down. down so. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep one of the medics. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, give him the credit. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, strategically, that's important because he's less likely to hit the reroll. Uh, now, Oof. this is a miss. This is a miss. Still pretty dang good. Okay, so that's a lot of strike value zeros. They are so dead. Uh, so... The medic hit both hits. Ha! <laughs> the medic Yeah, the medic is on fire. So the first guy is fine. Oh, wow. The second guy... Is dead. not fine. He is dead as a door now. So that means... You're a half casualty and you're and super I'm gone. And I'm super yeah. dead. Oy vey. So that is another all-important support weapon for the invading Concord forces taken out securing two more victory points for Henry and his Ostman. This unit is going to attempt to fire here. I, I'm not likely to pass this command check. No, okay, no. so they go down. So that was down. expected, but I do lose a pit, which is what I wanted. The medic team, as is tradition for any Sergei-led army, is going to hurl off their camo netting and charge into battle. Oh <laughs> I'm going God. to run and sprint and attempt to execute this unit with my medics. He has four pins. I pass my sprint, so I don't have any pins. It's go time. Uh, I'm going to be hitting on uh, threes. Yeah, threes because I have rapid fire pistols. But he's oh, no, going he's to got, be. Hitting. They actually have ballistic rifles. Oh, they have ballistic yeah. rifles. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. Uh, well, you're going to be hitting on ones. Well, like Sergey said, I have four pins, so I'm only hitting on ones. Uh, so that means I'm absolutely using rapid fire. So I miss with every shot, but if you get one reroll for the spotter, I still miss. And I'm hitting on threes. And oh, I whiff all of mine. Oh no! <laughs> As well. It's punching time. So I'm just hitting on. Uh, I can't I can't use anything in close combat. I don't Correct. Have so or anything. Okay. So I hit you one time. Okay. Uh, it is a lucky. Would you rather it be on the leader or the lance? Uh, the lance for Obviously. sure. Obviously. And he's fine. So now attacking back, I'm going to be using my X launcher and a plasma grenade. Oh, so the plasma grenade hits. The X launcher oh, no. hits. This may have been a mistake. It, oh, 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 so you must contend with, uh, actually, <laughs> there's one strike value one hit in there, bringing you down to res uh, three. three, and then those bring you down to res four. He's dead. Oof. He's dead. <laughs> OK, wait, wait, wait. But I get to reroll. Oh, yeah, you get a medic reroll. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I survived the combat, which means you have lost the combat. And ah, yes! Vipers of Doom! Oh my god, so a technicality, the medics freak out my guys and kill them. Yes, uh, losing one, only one in the process uh, and taking one pin, but that's actually pretty significant because I'm at half casualty. And I roll a one and remove my pen. Bastard. <laughs> now, <laughs> in a surprisingly unmedic y move, he is going to run directly in line opposite of Kevin's vehicle so that Kevin's vehicle cannot actually shoot the medic. He's throwing his <laughs> injured comrade in front of himself. <laughs> so far, my medics have healed no wounds, but they have murdered people with their bare oh, wait, hands. No, he saved himself. He saved himself. He's, <laughs> he's a horrible person. <laughs> okay, down orders. My first is the drone up front, leadership eight. Need to get six or lower. I'm oh, good. Gets up and loses a pin. And gone. Next is this unit that has no pins, leadership eight. They're good, so I get that dice oh, back. No, this is, this These is guys, four or lower. Oh, oh come on. And then, yep, they know what they need to do. This unit is leadership seven, down to six. Whoop. Whoop. Always Three, you're good. good. And I lose my pen, and then this unit is just regular old seven. Yep. And they're good. All right, so nobody remained down, surprisingly, in a turn with a lot of downs. The wolf's fangs were bared in a fiery ambush. Explosions racked the ranks of the Concord and forced some of them off of the field. 
However, the Vargers have taken some casualties and are still heavily outgunned by the C3 technological advancements. And the C3 have an ace up their sleeve in the form of their high-tech jet bikes. Who will emerge victorious from this bloody fracas? Going into the second turn, the initial ambush turned out to be devastating. Three units off the field for the Concorde means that they only have six with the addition of the jet bikes arriving in this turn, and the Ostmen still have all 11 of their original order dice going into the bag. Ah, unlikely, the Concorde. I must use this initiative to attempt to kill you. I'm gonna try to run with these guys into this four-man Varger squad and an attempt to kill them. And I will run, so once again, lope away on my wolfy legs, hopefully. <laughs> so your initiative is six. Yeah, please, come on, I failed once. Oh! Yes, okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. And I'm going to run to just in between these hills here, which will allow me to counter shoot but also puts me in a dangerous position because his bikes coming on could one-shot that squad. Uh, I'm just gonna gamble that they're not. That means my poor dudes are left up here, minding their own business. Just chilling. Just in a pillbox a time. Yep. that does not belong yeah, to them. In a pillbox that is facing the wrong direction, unfortunately. But. Yeah. Ostman. My Grungnir is going to fire once again into the exposed side of this vehicle. I'm hitting on, um, uh, not sixes, fours. So that's one hit once again. You are saving on not a, not a two. Twos are fine. So, uh, so you get one additional pin. A third pin, yep. Concord! I must attempt to use this drone before it is wiped from this very earth. I do have to pass in a seven or lower, which I do. So I lose the pin. I'm going to advance to right here to hide from that dang truck. And now I'm going to shoot everything I got into this dude who only has one more pin and he's dead, so he's, he's, he's just gonna die. <laughs> Mr. Pennington, So uh, I'm obviously- Yeah, Sergey told me he wanted to go down ahead of time. So now I get three shots hitting on fives. I get one reroll, but then I have to reroll everything. Wow. Oh, they. So two hits, I must now reroll them because you're down. Come on. One hit, Ooh. that's all I needed. Okay, roll it for me. So. Uh, ones. ones. Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because you just got another pin. You have six command. You oh, have six pins. Oh, you're right. So I'm, even though. I'm forced off the field. We will say, from storyline wise, <laughs> he did survive. Yeah. <laughs> he just ran away. But you did ah! score a point. Yeah. <laughs> Thematically, this fellow is dragging this guy off the field. Although he has proven selfish in the past, he might ditch him if things get hairy. <laughs> oh, come on. It's me! Come on, where's my luck? It's the bikes! <laughs> my bikes have advanced onto the field. I've chosen this short edge, so it's coming for, maybe this is the scouting force ahead. They are going to fire all of their regular dual plasma carbines into this unit that has no pins, no casualties. And I will go down. So I am at long range to shoot them, which means I'm gonna be hitting six times on fours and now I have to re-roll anything I hit. Yes. Okay, I really wanted that one. So I have only hit twice. One was a lucky. Ah, I remain hitting. So Sergey must contend with two shots. I have brought him down to res four. I will have the lucky on his leader and the non-lucky on a regular guy. Four. Wow! Oh, oh yes! You gotta be kidding me! Gongor! I will perform a rally order with my T7 before it gets destroyed! I'm good, and I lose all three pins. Austin! This is a narrative campaign, and I'm very invested in, in keeping my men alive. So Makes I'm sense. going to shed my camo netting. Okay and I'm going to advance in front of this guy, oh. which also allows me to shoot unimpeded by the batter field. Okay. Um, so that's going to be uh, three shots hitting on uh, force. force. Die, you have minded bastards. Woo! One's cocked, two misses. Come on, uncocked dice. Ah. Damn it. Wow, that was bad. Oh, spin again. Firing order, I am hitting on uh, Fives up to sixes, because we keep on forgetting that it's plus one to hit large targets. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, so, 
That is two, two hits. hits. I only fails on nines and tens. Oh, yeah, well, that's a, a nine. nine. And that's a five. Okay. So I'm going to roll for roll you. Roll on the chart. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. That sucks. Yes. Gongor. Ooh. I'm going to attempt an advanced order, but I do have one pin. Bring me down to leaders of six. Oh my God. <laughs> These are three. I'm good. Lose the pin. Now I'm suspenser, so I'm going to move seven inches. Oh no, are you gunning on that, that weak squad? I'm going to body block myself okay. with the rock from this Gungnir vehicle. Okay. I'm gonna then put my field to make sure it's in front of this guy okay. and you know covering me as best as it can. And then all three of my shots will be going into this unit that's already been pinned and down. I'm gonna hit on fives. Or sorry, fours, because I have accuracy five brought down to four because of the rapid fire. And I have to reroll because he's down, but I do get a spotter reroll, so I can't reroll that. That hits. This hits. So now I must reroll both because he's down. And I hit both. No, I don't hit either time. You gotta be kidding me. Austin. Firing order from Henry Hellhounds into this unit. I can't let them become a part of this match. It will just be too devastating. I shall go down. Okay. Okay, just like last time, it's 13 shots. Uh, the medic is the only one that's on fours. Everyone else is on sixes. Ooh, I hit with a lot. Uh, so the medics both missed this time. They're not quite as spicy as they were before. And then the rest of these need to reroll. Oh, you had one in there, didn't you? Oh yeah, so keep one. And that was pretty terrible, actually. Okay, I got one Lucky and Henry hits. I will take the three on my leader. Uh, you are further than 10 inches away, correct? Uh, nope, he's still within 10. So my res is three. I'm dead. I'm dead. So Henry kills the leader. And the other two guys totally die as well. So three people just died from that round of shooting. Which means I get another pin. And then the whole unit is out because I get a 10. Limited ammo on Henry's unit. Uh, seven, they're good. And we did forget to do limited ammo on the medic there. Oh, uh, oh the, the, the medic is out of ammo. Oh, well. Not that it matters because he's right next to the transport, which gives him ammo bags. And that unit is out of the field. Once again, the wolf's claw is loaded with order dice. I have four moves to eliminate my enemy. I have performed an advance order with my Gungnir. Uh, he was in a terrible position. Uh, I wanted to shoot at this drone, but I just couldn't find an angle. So I'm going to fire three shots, perhaps futilely, into this tank. Whoa, Whoa. fire. Yeah, that's, so, uh, wait, wait, wait. that's no, forced, two hits. forced to hit, yeah. yeah. I was gonna destroy the battlefield, but I think I'm just in a position to outmaneuver it. Um, oh, oh, what is this luck? Michael Crow is sending his juju once again. This is bull. Michael Crow, <laughs> together we wield the spear no! of Odin. Okay, that's actually know. not bad at all. I don't know what it means. I gotta check. Not only does he go down, he gets a one pin for me hitting him, one pin for me rolling a nine, and then a D3 extra pins. Oof, uh -huh. two. Two extra pins for, uh, for the, the eight or seven. You done rung my bell. I have to pin this vehicle out and I have the means to do it, hopefully. Uh, this unit is actually strike value too, so yep. I'm gonna try to slip a bullet through, I don't know, one of its lenses Sevens or something. To hit. Oh, ah! <laughs> you can't reroll it. Well, there goes your hope. That's upsetting. Um, and then this unit is going to do the same thing. Now, don't forget this this squad. The the captain can shoot. I think I think we fully totally forgot that last time. He oh, does have a ballistic true. pistol. Okay. So I think cool. it goes out to twenty inches at least. So uh, this one will be a ballistic pistol, which definitely misses. Can you get another shot with that? Because it's rapid fire too. Oh, I always forget the ballistic pistols are. I got like Uzis. Oh, and a hit. Oh my god. What the? Okay. And then the other two. Whoa, both hit. both hit. Okay, so first the rockets. I'm good. And then that I'm You're I'm, good. I'm you fine. Do, you do take a pin. I do take a pin. Oof. I need two more pins. It's still doable. But I'm in the I'm I'm in the fight, not the race. Maybe I'm racing. I gotta get out of here. 
My medic is going to heroically remain on the field because he's filled with a frothing rage. Gunter the medic. <laughs> he drags his buddy. Yeah, he's like, I'll use this corpse as a shield. I'm ready. Oh my <laughs> um, God. So he's remaining here just in case I need to pop up and shoot with his pistol and also keep his- No, he's got a there. rifle. He's, he's got, got a rifle. Gunter doesn't give up. Sixes are lower on this downed unit. It's the only one on the field. Ooh, oh, what? Dude, my oh, luck. What is this? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I sacrificed the right chickens. The jaws of the wolf inch ever closer to the silvery <laughs> robot throats of the C3. Uh, there's very little that the C3 can do to win this scenario, but can they create a Pyrrhic victory for the wolf men? Going into turn three, the dang Ospin still have a double order dice on top of the five Concord. So 10 means they're probably gonna have the initiative for the rest of this turn. Let's see. Turn three, dice one. Oh, Have I gone I mean, first every turn? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's an unfortunate one. Recovery! For, yeah, for that. <laughs> For that specific now, unit. Now, wait, because his you only leadership. Have, you only have seven. There's a 30% chance. I was chance. Saying, like, I only have leadership come on, seven. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh. So, oh, but I only lose three, three pins. pins. I mean, that's still a lot, though. Hoffman. For my first order, I'm realizing now that Kevin has announced his reaction is probably a foolish order. I'm going to fire with this unit into that one. I'm but, gonna react by doing a firefight. Which could be catastrophic for me. I'm pretty sure my initiative is seven. It is. And I got a five either way. Oh no. So I will also be performing a fire order. Let's see who does better. Uh. <laughs> I have uh, three ballistic rifles, which are all hitting on uh, fives, and then my RPG, which is actually hitting on sixes. Uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna have all of my guys fire with their regular shots. So I'm gonna be hitting on sixes, strike value two. Awesome. Oof. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's three hits. Okay. So I do have a leader still. So I'll take it on regular guys and my leader strike value. Uh, I'm sorry, my armor is probably six. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, it's definitely just ten. Just... Ooh, I'm all good then. Six, six, one. But I do get a pin. Now I fire back. With a devastating volley. Not really though. So I miss, but I do get to reroll one. So I got three hits. One is a lucky. I don't. Uh, I'll put the lucky on the leader. Uh, his saves are only twos. <laughs> you got to be kidding me! You got to be kidding me! What is going on? What is I make this? a faction that has four res, and they survive more than my factions that have like six and seven. I need I need to take a break test at sevens, and I roll. You roll a one. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> well, this is insane. So. All right, that actually Mike, Mike well must for really love this army that I've created for his viewing pleasure because he is, oh my God, this is insanity. I literally came out of that with a pen. That's the result. I'm starting to think that the Concord don't deserve this planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Send forth my jet bikes. Ah! We have activated the assassination protocol. We have identified the final war chief once more. This unit will run. And they are going to run and sprint into Henry under, into Henry's unit right here. Uh, are you going to do anything reaction-wise? Yes, I'm going to try to run to cover here. You bastard. Uh, it's 70% chance and oh. I'm good. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do is I think just run to this other pillbox here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my God. And this is the final face-off position. Next turn, they're definitely gonna charge me. For, for this turn, I have confounded them. <laughs> you can still technically react. Oh no, you, now you're too far. Yeah, no, I'm way too close. You're yeah, way too you close. Can, to I can never away. escape you. <laughs> but you can still you can counter charge me. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> awesome. This unit is going to fire into this drone here. Uh, I'm above the battlefield, thankfully. Uh, I do get a pistol hit, that's this. Dice. You actually get two shots with the pistol, don't oh, forget. I always forget. So one shot with the pistol does hit. 
It would be accurate or accuracy five, brought down, rapid fire. No, you'd have to. Because I'm at you'd 17 have to inches. Yeah. So. So no hit. But you do have yeah. one hit with the uh, RPG. You want to just roll me? I got five or lower. I'm good. Damn. So but you take a pin hit. though. Ostman. We forgot the limited ammo test for that unit way over there during that firefight, so they're fine. My gun gear is going to once again fire into uh, this transport. I, I will, I will break it. Uh, oh, double yeah. hits. And you want me to just roll yeah, it? Yeah, you have the camera. Negative. No. I do get a third pin. We'll spin again. I will advance. Not a whole lot, just like to like right over here. Actually, okay. I'll stay, I'll put on the road just in case I need to do a road move. There you uh, go. And fire into the drone. And I only have two dice, so I'll just re-roll one of these. Uh, one so hit, one, one hit, fail. one hit, two hits. So two hits. Now that brings it down to five. So one to zero is failure. So roll again. Six. Six. That's I'm pretty, pretty sure brutal. it's a D three pins and I go down. D three pins. That'll be you call it a copter three. Three. So, what? Ostman, I must protect the war chief. My gun gear is going to fire into this unit here. I'm hitting on fives, but I do have to re-roll. So that's two hits, pretty good so far. And one hit. Okay, I must take it on a leader. My res is eight, uh, brought down to fives. So I'm good. But you do take a pin. Me again, I'm going to do the same order. Same stuff, once again hitting on fives. Heavily cocking that dice. Wow, Whiff. man, whiffing all of them. Yeah. Awesome again. With my sniper, I'm going to fire into Kevin's bikes because when they take their like automatic go first dice, they don't lose pins, so I want them to have maximum pins going into charging Henry. Uh, so hitting on sevens, I hit. I don't have to reroll because it's an automatic Convert lucky. To a one. I'll put it on a non-leader. My res is six. And I got a four, so I'm good to go, but I have two pins now. Ostman again. As Kevin graciously moves these warriors for me, I'm going to perform an advance and shoot into this unit here, hopefully doing as much damage as humanly possible and preventing them from scoring that really juicy victory point in the corner. Once again, sir, he's gonna have five ballistic rifles hitting on fours, and then he does have a light machine gun that will hit on uh, fours as well, yeah. That is pretty decent shooting here. I missed with that and well, that. You hit up fours, so that's pretty horrible shooting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm about to say. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, fives is your normal, but all your guns are rapid fire. Yeah. So you hit twice. Uh, these are strike value zeros, so I will take one on my leader and one on a regular guy. I have res six. So, oh, the regular guy got totally plinko. Terrible news. So one pin and I lose a guy. Uh, and I don't get to do anything back, because that was not a charge. I don't know why I thought it was. <laughs> Limited ammo. Ostman, I'm just gonna put this fella on ambush. That makes sense. I really can't do a whole lot. I got three pins. I only got seven res, so I have a 40% chance to accept an order. So I see the end, the end is near. There's no way I'm gonna recover from this. He's gonna outbend me. So I'm gonna just try to do a fire order. So I'm gonna pass, and I'm gonna try to shoot at Henry, murder that last war chief. What? Oh, you lose two pins. I lose two pins. Oh, no. Now I'm going to readjust this no. so that it's better covering that from anybody from the front. Uh, and then I'm just gonna fire everything I got into Henry. I'm at effective because I'm within 30 inches, uh, but I'm only gonna be hitting on fours, threes. Forgot it was a fire order, so I'm actually hitting on fours. So I hit once, I hit a reroll. I only hit once, so okay. one hit on Henry's unit. Mm -hmm. Definitely not taking it on Henry. So and that's a fail, because you were at uh, res yep. four, six down to reroll because of medic, but so. no, one guy in Henry's unit is dead. Blech. I have one down. I have five pins, meaning my leadership is three. Oh yeah. Oh man, I get the dice back. That was good. The C3 have been devastated, but the Concord's jet bikes are poised to strike at the very heart of Ostman morale. Can Henry survive? Going into turn four, we got 
10 on the Hossman and only four on the Concord because there's one on the field with the jet bikes. This is getting grim. Okay, so obviously the first thing that's gonna happen is my retained run order. And unfortunately for Sergey, I am now too close for him to react by running away because I'll catch him. And he's too close to do anything else, I think. I mean, I there's nothing I want Because fire, uh, stand and shoot, you have to be yeah. further away. With so. one pin, it's already too risky. Yep. So with two pins coming in, I am um, going to... I'll be hitting on fives in my point blank shooting, and you'll be hitting on uh, what, threes. Yeah. Sorry, this is a terrible. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rough like, shot. It's a rough shot, but you yeah. guys get what's going on. Boom. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I have six shots. They are going to be hitting on threes, okay? Ah! And Sergey has a million shots hitting on fives, but he does have to reroll everything because I'm a fast unit with a run order. Yep. I can't keep that! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also my pistol will uh, only be hitting on threes. Yeah. No, twos. I'm going to be honest with you. All I want is a one. All I want is a one. I just want to kill Henry. Dang it! So, I only hit one time. One time. I'll take it not on Henry. <laughs> and he's uh, dead. Yeah. Right, because I'm at fours. Fours. Right, and twos. Yeah, so you kill one guy. Okay. I will get a pin, but I get to strike back with so all So many my... times. Yeah. You gotta yes, be kidding me, I, I told you! I told you I had a bad feeling about this! What is this crap? I have a one with a- he said you're literally gonna hit me with a hand cannon finally. Yeah, I got a one. Uh, so that is going to be... Three shots? I'm gonna put it on three people. So, uh, or, well, who are you doing the- Uh, the lucky will be a non-leader. So lucky will be on the non-leader. My- I'll take the other two on- the black can be the leader dice. So, they're both fine. Now this one, I'm down to fives. Huh? Oh, I'm good. Okay. But I do take a third pen. Okay, so this uh, combat's gonna be over with my jet bike zipping away with three pens. Now, like Sergey said in the beginning, uh, I can't remove these pens because I'm not taking order tests, so I'm just gonna have three pens, which means I could do another pass against Henry, but the God's honest truth is, is that I care about you guys, the audience, more than my ability to maybe score a one, <laughs> two more turns. So rather than have you watch uh, Sergey's entire army shoot into these four drones that can't really do much, uh, I am going to concede as the Concord, clinching an Ostman victory. The jaws of the wolf has clamped. Shut! With his foe's electrical scanners hindered by the storm, Henry's gambit had succeeded. The alien siege column was forced to a grinding halt. Not long after our warrior's return, the Allfather received an astonishing transmission. Our scientists had picked up the signal from outer space, thinking it was another message from the invaders. But to their surprise, it was from yet another outside force. People of Dugan, we are the Algorin Prosperous, an interstellar nation free of the artificial intelligence that now seeks to integrate your world. We have observed your conflict in hiding and admire your warrior's tenacity. We have fought this enemy many times, on many worlds, and we implore you to heed our words. Despite your bravery, you will not defeat this foe. If you want to remain a free people, we invite you to join the Algorand Prosperate as a protected member state. This does not mean that we can fight this war for you, but with the aid of our honorable warriors, we can help cast out these insidious invaders. We await your answer. The notion of a second interstellar empire was truly baffling. Nothing could describe the shock of the Allfather when another message was received shortly after. I am in the Allfather of Hugen. This is Arch Coordinator Aether, representative of House Greydori. We have intercepted the Algorand's pitiful offer of aid and implore you to consider another. The great houses of the Vardosi are the only in Antaran space, a concept you will understand in due time, which possess technology capable of countering your enemy. 
You may find kinship with the proud warriors of the Prospered, but you may also find their rigid caste system quite suffocating, a fact they seemingly failed to mention. Swear fealty to House Gridori, and we shall outfit your warriors with the technology required to combat the superior foe, as well as providing the services of some of the deadliest mercenaries in the region. Don't be a fool, all father. If you simply bend the knee to Great Dory and provide an agreed upon quota of your world's key resources, these invaders will be repelled once and for all. After carefully listening to each transmission, the All Father could not help but wonder would allying with either of these alien nations be any different than succumbing to the invaders? Could Hoogan not stand alone? Well, that was a hell of a loss. That was well, okay. So <laughs> I don't. E I don't even feel great about that. My tactical acumen had very little to do. I mean, you still played well. But I, it was I, like okay, I played well, but nobody plays so well that like <laughs> their the their outcasts are just like taking cannon shots like it's nothing. They're just like batting them away like a cat bats away a toy. It it was absurd. I was about to say, I was like, literally the amount of saves that you passed on, like, insane. <laughs> insane. And my shoot, my shooting was just average, but it was my saves that were, like, well, out that of that this first world. That first explosion did really well, too. That, yeah, I got, yeah, I feel like that was about average, though, for the explosion. It was the thing that, honestly, I think turned the tide so insanely was your one pin unit going down right in the beginning. Yeah, Because that, really that, that unit actually getting that order represented me losing an order dice and a whole unit and you keeping one and probably yeah. losing nothing. Yeah, that was nuts. So uh, I would say if you ever follow this at home, maybe give the attack or the defender one more unit, maybe. But I don't yeah. think he's going to follow us. This one's a pretty... This pretty one. narrative <laughs> specific scenario requiring a whole extra army. Yeah, oh, that's fair. This would be <laughs> nice. if you're at home like redoing this. I salute you. It's, it's a lot of anybody who has a bolt action army could totally actually. Do this. Yeah, that's you true. could just yeah. you could if someone if you if you had bolt action players or like if you're really hard or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean anything really. Uh, that's some miniature agnosticism. They look great on the table. Um, but uh, either way, uh, as far as the narrative, yes. so. Henry, obviously, the leadership was felt. He was able to command the troops very well. And, you know, what this means is, is that, you know, across the entire battlefield, the Oastmen were able to strike a decisive ambush and destroy a lot of the mm -hmm. Concord's heavier equipment. But uh, they still they still got a lot of Concord to deal with. So uh, this is going to be nuts moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. But keep in mind, that is just what this battle has dictated about the story. You, the audience, are still in control of the decisions made by the Allfather. Your brain is open to suggestion. Oh, this is my open <laughs> yeah. suggestion bonus. This is like <laughs> so that you can build, you can connect the, to the brain waves <laughs> exactly. that are being beeped in. Um, but yeah, so like you heard in the story, the Osmen have been now approached by two other alien factions. They're having a weird week. They're yeah, like, they what really the? Are. Yeah. Aliens, are aliens didn't exist before yeah. this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so now the option is for the viewers out there, should the Osmen continue by joining as a member state within the Algorin Prosperate and get the Algorin's aid, or should they accept whatever royalty they've been, you know, like the, the knighting of the, 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 the freeborn house and receive their aid. Or the third option, they can just be like, you know what? I don't, I don't want any aid from any aliens. No stinking aliens. Yeah, that's yeah, totally possible. All good options. If you ally yourself with the freeborn, Henry might become a duke. That's pretty cool. If you ally yourself with the Algren, he could... I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what are the Algren giving him? Probably not good. They have a cast system. Yeah, though. yeah. They're like, so we can't help but notice you're in this zone <laughs> when your name badge clearly states. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not to a little subjugation. Yeah. A little, little subjugation. Uh, or 
But, I mean, you also get Lake Bialger and high technology. Well, the same as Lake Bialger. Honestly, it's probably the most militaristically advantageous one. Alien invasions could happen. You know, it could have been worse. It could have been the Virai or the Voral. Yeah. So, I don't you know. know. I feel like the C3 is actually the scariest of all. Or the Isaurians. They're yeah. the fear. But either way, you know, both sides would at least protect them in the future from mm -hmm. further incursions if they manage to fight off the C3 now. I don't know. Or do we fight with our own strength? The strength of fleshy man fists. And bullets, lots of bullets. <laughs> mostly bullets, yeah. <laughs> not not many man fists, mostly bullets. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like the nutty part about these battles is you have to imagine those two hits at strike value zero and the low tech guns represent that they're like literally just like with the whole battle. So there's a lot of bullets flying down range. So yeah, I don't know. But it's not for us to know, it's for you to decide. Last time, we told you to go to an obscure Facebook page group and vote there, but we realized that that's kind of inefficient because you're already on YouTube. So yeah, vote okay. in the comments below. We might do a poll on Facebook either way, but vote in the comments below. And as always, we have to thank our fine patrons, of which we have a brand new one, Tony Meninen. He is a fine Varga warrior who wields his ballistic rifle with the strength of a lance of plasma. I don't know why I'm karate chopping. He's got karate chops too. <laughs> as always, we thank our brave commanders, Les Stevenson, Nick Hobbs, Elizabeth Allen, Will Connell, and Amelia. Our brave warlords, Michael Crow and Knight Silva. And as always, from the depth of our meager worm like bodies, we. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> John Roberts, long may he reign. Patrons of which we have a brand new one, Tony Meninen, a fine. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I tried to hold it in. Well, you man.